What's everybody drinking? Oh, God. I'm doing the whole $7 vodka and um, uh, Golden Bear, which is like a strawberry lemonade oh. sort of thing. Oh. Which on its own is delicious. Yeah, it's just, I didn't realize it, but it is chock full of the most high fructose corn syrup. So I'm going to be gaining oh, yeah. about 35 pounds during this recording. I don't think you can get anything healthy in that large of a tin can. <laughs> I, don't th- <laughs> I think that's illegal. <laughs> that's, that's a good point. <laughs> I should have. I should have just looked at the metal. Um, that stuff is not designed to take away the bite of a vodka. No, it's a very weak Especially drink. Especially seven dollar <laughs> vodka. That's got. Yeah. Well, I also got a. Um, I got cream soda that I've been rocking too. So. Ooh, that'll do it. Yeah. yeah. We've got an imperial stout with hazelnut, coconut, and coffee. That sounds Ooh. amazing. It sounds really good. It's been in the back of our fridge for years. I think. That <laughs> now it doesn't sound that good. I don't <laughs> think that'll make much of a difference, though. I feel no, like that's one of those no, beers it's, you're, it's, it's still designed good. to. Yeah. I was like, "Ooh, let's drink this," and I was like, "When did we get this?" And Alice was like, "I think we got it when your cousin moved." And that was, <laughs> I was like, "Oh, jeez, that's." I got pizza. Yeah. Got it. I have got. Um, I really like the Jack Daniels honey whiskey, but. Yeah. I decided to mix it up because I went with that last time, and I got the vanilla flavored version, which is all right, but not nearly as good as the honey. Put it in cream soda. (laughs) I have no mixers. It's just on ice. And then I have like, I've got three Magic Hats and two of these other beers, and then... If I make it through all of that, I have this one like eight percent sour beer that I do not like, and it's been in my fridge for about six months now. So, just hoping it doesn't come to that. I've got the remains of a bottle of the Old Forester nineteen ten, which is really tasty, a really tasty Ooh. whiskey. I've already had two Gansets. <laughs> I'm also halfway through this guy. Oh, is that Shilling? Uh yeah, shilling. Uh, it's oh, the... shilling's great. I love I love shilling. They're really yeah. good. Uh, yes, I am double fisting, and uh, I've got four Belgian triples from Great Lakes. Oh my god! And uh, a one point seven five of Aviator gin. <laughs> Jeez. And Connor's gonna get turned. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Looking up gifts for turnt. It was like probably about a third of them were just different things with Ned Flanders' face. That's on really it. weird. That's yeah. very weird. I don't know. I don't know where that could be coming from. I, I assumed I was waiting for Tom to be like, "Oh yeah, that's because of this one time in season three, episode twelve, where." Yeah, I. What's funny is I was like, "That well, that's weird." Uh, I wonder why that is, and I went into my uh, gift search engine and put in "turnt" and got no gifts of Ned Flanders. Really? So. Maybe it's because of all the Ned Flanders searches I do outside of the turnt searches. Right, that's the only thing that's I can think. It's like you 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 Google uh, stupid sexy Flanders so many times, and <laughs> before <laughs> your your phone it. knows what you want. You're overloading your Flanders cookies. I do that in incognito, though, so I don't know how that ends up in my results. Trevor, you, you know some something still knows about it. <laughs> right uh, when you right. open incognito it says uh this will not stop your workplace your right. search uh, your your service <laughs> provider or the government from knowing what you search yeah. and also people standing behind you yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right should we should we say our names right this is yeah this is an episode oh, yeah. this is a very special episode of the never games um i'm not sure exactly what to call it I've been. I was going to call it the super sloppy, super special, special season. Season two slash Connor's birthday intro. Preseason. Preseason two episode. Post season one. Yeah, pre-season kind of in between two. all of them. 
We're, we're in the Dave Matthews. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're in the Dave Matthews zone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It is the space between. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, it comes back every episode, and I hate it. <laughs> My name is Trevor. I am the CEO of Stickerbox Studios, and I got pineapple on my pizza. I think we all do. Yeah, I did. Did everybody do that? No, I, I didn't. But... My name is Tom O'Brien. Uh, I am grateful that you are all here for my inauguration as king of season one. Uh, I also got pineapple oh. on one of my pizzas. My name is Connor Provost. I got the best pizza, which is pineapple and black olive, and no one can tell oh, me otherwise. It's atrocious. It's um, terrible. And also, why would you do that? I'm in my 30s now, so I'm basically dead. Yay! Yeah. Yay! Yeah. I'm just a he skeleton. says to three people who are over 30. Four <laughs> yes. people. Yep. Uh, and 30. my name is Noel, and I just spent a hundred dollars on Dominios. Uh, <laughs> Try harder next season. <laughs> yeah, which is definitely going to make me strive for for greatness. Um, yeah, so we're doing our, our special. Well, our hold Dave on, Ma- we've got we've got one more introduction. We do have. That's some, right. Oh, I was yeah. going to say special guests. Oh. <laughs> Well, I'm okay. Alice Bannister. I am this week's special guest, or one of the special guests. Special guests. Yes. Yay. Yeah. Welcome, Welcome to the episode where we're not going to play any games. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I was going to plan on, like, sort of an intro, but besides getting pizza and drinking and Connor's birthday, what else are we doing? <laughs> I have no idea what we're doing. I don't know. There's no plan to this. Oh, no. This is going to be a terrible episode. (laughs) Uh, We're just going to sit in silence for the next 25 minutes, drink and eat pizza. Spoiler warning for anyone listening. uh, If you don't, if you want content, wait a week. Uh, yeah, yeah. If, if this is the first episode you listen to, don't listen to this episode. Go back to season yeah, back. one, episode five. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's episode the place five to was start. Clearly the, it's, the winner. It's, yeah. yeah. So one thing that I wanted to ask you guys about was, what were your favorite games? I think, I think we probably all agree that Defend Yourself, Sir, was probably number one on the season. I think that one was pretty great. Uh that was definitely my favorite. Um, yeah, that was up there for me. It was my fa- it was my favorite to it was my favorite to to run, um, and then and playing it was like a lot of fun too. It's it's mm. interesting because like it's it's this crazy thing where like it's it's very clearly an argument that no one gives a shit about, and then suddenly you <laughs> really fucking care about. That's my favorite part about it. That's like <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's like our version of high school debate. Like, yeah. except for the fact that, like, as soon as you're arguing against someone, you give a damn. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Me and my girlfriend have been in a, like, three-week-long argument now about whether or not chili is soup. Yeah, that's that's healthy. In general, it's the same vibe where it's like, you don't really care, but also chili is not soup. Wait, why is chili not soup? What? What? What about chili makes it a soup? I... Wow, you got me there. <laughs> like, That's just because it. it's kind so, of liquidy? So what I, mean... think, I think if you add in more liquid and you have, like, a watery chili, then yeah, it's... there's a ch- You can make chili soup, yeah. which is like chili, but you make it soupy. Okay, so then what, what is chili? It's chili. It's its own thing. Maybe, like, a meat sauce? Yeah, I, a... I feel like it's... It's, it's closest like, to like a, a bolognese, I guess. At that point, like I made that exact yeah. argument. It's <laughs> well, here's so, uh, along the same lines. Let me complicate this argument. Uh, oh God, it's what you're best at is cereal soup. <laughs> that no, was cereal, one of my arguments. No, like, just cereal, because something's like cereal's a salad. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> oh, you've never heard the cereal <laughs> super salad argument? No. <laughs> okay, so is it a soup? Meaning, is does milk? Or whichever nut flavored beverage you have, um, is that the broth or the dressing? And it all depends. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> and it all depends on how much you add. It, I don't just know. just it's... like just like the chili and soup thing. It's subjective until you make it concrete. Okay. Well, see, I wouldn't. I I again, I don't think cereal is either of those things. I don't think they have to. Just because there is a liquid involved in it, doesn't mean it has to be. A salad or a soup. Then what else is it? Well, my thinking it's is like cereal. If you're Why gonna, does it need classification? <laughs> if you're gonna classify, if you're gonna classify cereal as a salad, and which would mean that you're considering the milk a dressing, and that you're, like you're using like that sounds like you're using like maybe like a spoonful of milk, which you're <laughs> yeah. a psychopath. Okay, how about this? If you dunk, if you dunk a cookie in milk, does that make it 
into soup. Do you take it out? You take the cereal no, out of the it, milk it makes, as you it scoop makes it, it out. Like no, 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 it no, makes but milk a dip. It's a it, dip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very thin frosting. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Jesus. <laughs> the quality content you come to expect from the Never Day. I yeah, just hope we don't yeah. talk about this for the next hour. This is how we break up. <laughs> is is an argument <laughs> over soup. <laughs> oh wait, hold on. My mom's calling me. I gotta I should answer that phone call. Put her on speaker. Yeah, put her on speaker. Yeah. Ask her if she wants to do an interview. Hi mom. <laughs> Hi. Hi Connor. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Uh, well, right now you're on speakerphone and you're uh, on my podcast. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I think you legally have to say that in happy Massachusetts. Birthday, happy birthday. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. What? What are you doing on a podcast? What? What are you doing on a podcast? Uh, getting drunk and eating pizza. <laughs> uh, really? Hosting it. You're not supposed to do that stuff anymore. Grow up. No. Wow. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that hurt me too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's your grandmother. Happy birthday to you. Hi, Grandma. <laughs> oh, how are you? I'm I'm so good. I'm so much better now. You're so much better now. Yeah. Why were you? You were sick. Well, no. It's just that I get to talk to you. What? <laughs> he was being better. sweet, and she never expected yep. it. <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Santa's birthday? It's in March. Yeah, so uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> she always beats me. Well, yeah, cuz she cheats. I don't cheat. No, no, you don't cheat, but she does. Oh, yeah, grandma cheats. Grandma cheats. Right. We know that. <laughs> <laughs> this is a well-documented fact. Shots fired. Yeah. <laughs> I've I've caused an, a heated argument. <laughs> We do, we do. It's a yep. monumentous occasion. This is a crazy episode. So you guys don't know this <laughs> uh, on the podcast, but uh, so my birthday is today. I'm turning 30. Uh, uh -huh. My uh, grandmother's birthday is in two days on the 27th. She's turning 90. Wow. Um, oh, wow. And then two days oh, after damn. that on the 29th, my <laughs> oldest sister turns 40. Is that who Santa oh. was? That's uh, Shannon, not Santa. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she said Santa. <laughs> Tell your grandma happy birthday from all of us. Yeah. Uh, the podcast says happy birthday, grandma, by the way. <laughs> oh, they can hear they can hear everything you guys are saying. <laughs> you can you can go if you want to talk to them, Connor. You can talk <laughs> okay. for a it's minute. Okay. <laughs> all right, okay, have a good night. I will okay. Love you too. My absolute favorite part about that whole interaction was that we could hear them, but they couldn't hear us. See, I love the part where he said, I'm doing a podcast, and she said, Grow up. <laughs> <laughs> Harsh. Yeah. Oh, boy. I'll now continue to drink my whiskey at three in the afternoon. And yeah, I'll drink my, my $5 vodka mixed with strawberry lemonade. Whoa, whoa, an, whoa. In an Anchorman. <laughs> Five dollar okay, vodka? Did you cut? Like, have you been lying to us? That... It's on sale, Tom. Obviously, come yeah, on. I, wa I watered it Honestly, down. Water doesn't cost anything, Tom. <laughs> Smart. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, <laughs> that was great. That was wonderful. <laughs> I had an idea for a game. It was basically going to be like, will they answer? And it would be two of you somehow decide on a contact in the other person's phone, and then they have to call them. And if they answer, then they get a point or something. I don't know. Something like that. Interesting. I never really fleshed it out, and that's why it never happened. Maybe what we can do is try to play uh, some of Trevor's half-cocked game ideas that haven't been fleshed out or finalized. Or well, maybe they're just all just in... titles. That's yeah, the, I was going to say, maybe works. can we create the game that that's oh. spawning from the title? I have a, actually yeah. a list of titles if you guys want to go through and try and flesh out a game from them. So what if, uh, okay. or do you have ideas for these games or just titles? Some of them I have vague ideas and I haven't like really worked it out or thought about how to like screw with the point system or whatnot. Okay. First game name. I'll just go straight down the list. It's just called 
My man. <laughs> this one I actually have mostly fleshed out. <laughs> Is it all just weird Rick and Morty quotes? <laughs> no. Does it have Good. anything to do with Rick and Morty? No. Okay. Does it have to do with black stand-up comedians? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is it about like like random like phrases and colloquialisms and like where they come from? No. Ah. Is it not well known psychics? No, sidekicks, <laughs> not psychics. <laughs> <laughs> like what like, well known psychics could this be about? Miss Cleo. The Sabrina, one. the one. The, f- the fifth gym leader in Saffron City. And we're over my head again. Our right. Pokemon. <laughs> it's a it's a Marvel reference. You wouldn't get. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, we'll move on. We'll move on. Um, yeah. Wait, so what is my man? Uh, or do it, you not want to tell us because you're going to use it? Yeah, it might be played at some point. Okay. I have okay. So this one I do not have really much of anything for. Um, it's just called What's Booking. Does that have to do with books? Yeah, like my vague idea was like I, I would go to like the the American classics that you're supposed to read in high school and just see how well you guys could answer questions about them. God. That's or something kind of like that. That's a that's a really good uh, <laughs> game. That Tr- I, name I would also name an American classics, Trevor. You know, Catcher in the Rye. Uh, Johnny like. Tremaine. Fucking raisin in the sun. I hated that book. It was all about a plant that died. Oh, let's let's quick go around the circle. Everybody say the book you hated reading the most in high school. Oh, uh, yeah, raisin in the sun. That was so bad. Fucking oh shit! I didn't what read any books in high school. As I lay dying, cliff notes was... exist. Ethan Frome. Oh, the jungle by Upton Sinclair. Oh, I love The Jungle. Oh, it's fucking terrible, dude. Oh, I liked that one. Or, no, 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 actually, Atlas Shrugged by Ayn Rand, because Ayn Rand can suck a fucking dive. Yeah, just play Bioshock. (laughs) God. Wait, somebody made you read Ayn Rand in high school? Oh, yeah. Yeah. What level English were you? Maybe. Oh. That'll do it. Yep. (laughs) La-di-da. Anything. um, Oh, God. Uh, Anne. Is there an Anne? (laughs) <laughs> Has anybody Anne read Anne Anne written a book? No, <laughs> no, sorry. Um, she. Oh, um, fr- fr- Fronte, Bronte, Char- Bronte. Charlotte. Br- yeah, the- <laughs> any one of the Bronte sisters. <laughs> There's three of them. <laughs> oh. Noel would not do well at what's booking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was the what was the good one about time travel? Wrinkle in time. No, the other one. Oh, Slaughterhouse Five. Yeah, that was a good. Slaughterhouse Five was great. Well, anything it's by Kurt Vonnegut book. is awesome. Vonnegut's great. Yeah, yeah. Vonnegut is Allison's favorite author. Oh, really? I don't know if favorite anymore, but yeah, it's up there. Um, I tried reading one of his books. All right, I actually I did read it. Uh, oh, Hocus Pocus. I read like a couple of like a month or two ago. Hocus Pocus, of course, meaning the novelization of the Disney movie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the one of the Disney movie is named after. It's... No, it's the other way around. No, they got Kurt yeah, Vonnegut right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, the, it's that it's the book, but with like the movie poster as the cover. <laughs> right. You guys are talking about Brink, right? Brink, Brink the what? Disney Channel original. Okay, never mind. That that joke didn't land. No. No, no I, I got somebody there. out there will love that joke, Connor. Yeah. <laughs> That's me. Do you guys not know Brink? I, no, I know you. Brink. I no, thank I you, Tom. Like I knew that you would you would get it, but that was it was a I mean, stretch for it was the a other two. Disney Channel original uh around the same time as uh Xenon, Girl of yeah, the Twenty First Century and Smart House. Uh Johnny Tsunami. Yeah. These are all great, great Disney original movies. I periodically I remember uh, this scene from Xenon Girl of the 21st Century where it's all about 15, they're all 15 year olds. Right. At what point she's sent to Earth instead of the space station where she's been living her whole life. And they decide they have to rush her back to the space station. And what they have to do is drive her to the airport slash rocket launch facility. And they all pile into the car and the one kid gets behind the driver's seat and they're like, oh God does any of us know how to drive a car? And the one kid is like, I think so. I've watched my dad do it enough times. He's just like, car, <laughs> drive to airport. And it's like driving to airport. It just leaves. And he like, doesn't have to do anything. And I think that's the best fucking joke. 
That's really good. I love uh, that. Uh, <laughs> you guys want to hear more game name ideas? Yeah, please. Sure. <laughs> sure. All right. I mentioned this one on the uh, the episode with TJ. B list Hollywood squares. Okay. Yeah. So I assume I don't know if Hollywood's the the game aspect of Hollywood squares is going to factor into this, or if it's never, just naming actors who would make it to B list holidays. Ho- I never Hollywood understood squares. the <laughs> plot of Hollywood squares because it's just basically tic tac toe and get a trivia question right, right? Pretty yeah. much. Yeah. Yeah. But well, it's like Family Feud. If you were to cut out the crosstalk, it's like a four minute episode. Right. Oh, of course. A um, lot of game shows involving like celebrities are like just trash. Like, <laughs> yeah. What you know what they have now nowadays is they have the fucking masked singer. Good it's like, God. oh, here's this B list celebrity that you that like doesn't have a career anymore. So let's put him in a fucking mask, and you have to guess <laughs> who it is. Like what? There's I like mean, three other serious, masked B-li- B-list something. at something. Mask dancer. There's there's mask yeah, dancer mask now. Dancer. There. I think there's another one too. <laughs> masked goalie. I mean, everyone should be masked right now. So that's I mean, fair. That's, fair. that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Which celebrity can survive a can survive a shootout in the NHL? <laughs> yeah. That would be cool. I would watch that. I I would watch Renee Zellweger. Fucking take a <laughs> from of Shea we- yeah. Weber slap shot. Yeah. Renee Zellweger is way too high profile for one of those shows, though. Okay, fine. Well, yeah. um, she like yeah. just won uh, an Oscar. Uh, who whoever was one of the patients on House? I don't know. Let, well, let's, let's <laughs> seriously think about other jobs that like you could do. This like the masked plumber. <laughs> <laughs> Have to tell by the butt crack. Cartographer. <laughs> That just sounds boring. Masked oh, yeah. Indiana Jones. Masked paleontologist. <laughs> it's, it's... <laughs> I can just picture Nicolas Cage trying to find whatever Declaration of Independence with like a masked, I don't know, Hillary Duff. <laughs> but also the the cartoon masked Hillary Duff uh, oh, alongside. God. Yeah. Trevor, what other games you got, bud? All right, all right. Um, up next, I have. Uh, are you Jersey Shore about that? Nope. What other games? <laughs> oh, you got, but... God. oh God! <laughs> Again, not totally sure what it will be, but you're gonna have to play it. Is that gonna be like? I, I feel like it's gonna be like. Uh, it would have to be like things that they say, like all because they yeah, have like first... their yeah, own fucking language. I, I I feel like it would it would definitely be a Jersey Shore trivia game in which you get one round to answer, and then once you've heard everyone else's answers, are you Jersey Shore about that, and you get a chance to change it. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Uh, if only to say that phrase, yeah. <laughs> uh, last night. Let's see, I also got... Um... I, yeah, I was, well, I was drunk last night. Very drunk last night. and um... <laughs> Still are. Am? Kind is, of. Am. Are. Am. Is. Uh, am is was. <laughs> yeah. But Continue yeah, no. So I still was. I woke up this morning. I woke up this morning and I had emails for receipts from Roku that I apparently um, rented across the universe last night. <laughs> no. And I don't know if I watched it. <laughs> oh man. I don't remember doing this. I um, uh, I was just talking to a buddy of mine. He and his wife got like hammered like two weeks ago. They woke up in the morning with confirmation emails for a flight to San Francisco. <laughs> what? For two uh, days later. Oh, that's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> right? And they had to immediately like call their credit card company and call oh, the airline and be yeah. like, no, no, no. Those were placed at 2.30 a.m. That doesn't count. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> That's actually that's how I got my uh, that's how I got my guitar my my most recent yeah. guitar is that's uh, how I moved out of my parents' house. That's how I moved to Chicago. It, yeah, <laughs> just drunk and yeah. access to a yeah. phone where I can order a guitar online and drop a thousand dollars. My, with my real first room, <laughs> my first roommate out of uh, out of living with my parents. It was like that night where my mom was like. So uh, you 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 got you got to get got, bud. Um, and I was like, oh shit, I am. Did your mom order a hit on you? 
<laughs> yeah. like, that's what it sounds like. That's what I thought first too. Yeah. yeah. I just leaned over to tie my shoe and I, I, I went back up and there was a smoking bullet hole in the wall. Um, the classic yeah, example so... of the assassin that only takes one shot and it's like, I'm done. <laughs> Bullets are expensive. Yeah. yeah, and he misses a shot and he's like, fuck me. <laughs> Why did I only bring one? You gotta pay more for a double time. <laughs> like fucking Hawkeye. It's the first um, time he's ever missed in his entire life. Yeah. <laughs> but and yeah, it's I, Noel. Um, it's long story Noel short, that he to yeah. <laughs> I outsmarted the assassin. Um, but long story short, yeah, I got really drunk and my first roommate, um, a really good friend at the time, she texted me and was like, hey, let's let's uh let's live together i was like wow that's that's a really fucking good timing so we're like all right set it up so i i was throwing a party on like a saturday night and that friday at the end of the day at work our boss pulled everybody aside and was like the company's going under you're all losing your job in you a also, month and a half wait, Trevor, and i was did, like have you ever said what job that was uh, that was a craft beer importing company that I was working for. Oh, you were in that love sack in the mall. Okay. Well, no, no, I no, also I want to that. also preface here. Uh, Trevor was throwing a party on Saturday. It was his birthday party. Yeah. Was this the full <laughs> bar party or the white t-shirt party? This was. That was full was... bar. That's yeah. That was the that's full bar. The, the most brilliant party idea ever. It was so great. For anybody listening, it was basically everybody you invite to the party has to sign up for a different type of alcohol to bring. So everybody brings a different type of alcohol, and then everybody has free reign of everything that's there. It's all community. So there's that's a complete awesome. full bar for everybody to go after. That's and amazing. then at the end of the night, whatever you signed up for, you can take home, but people are hammered and forget about all of it. So Trevor got a full bar out of it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I like, God, I, I when wish I we moved were... to Pittsburgh, I finally threw out like the end of some of that stuff oh because everybody God. was like, "Oh, it's a full bar. I'm buying the lowest end fucking flavored vodka that I can." Right. But yeah, so I was like, on Friday, I was told my job is ending. On Saturday, I had a party, and at like one o'clock, I was like, "I don't know what I'm gonna do." And Tom was just like, "I'm, I might be moving to Chicago," and I was like, "Oh, I'll go," and that was it. <laughs> nice. And yeah. then I moved to Chicago. <laughs> and then the next morning, we were having fucking eggs, Bennies, in like a cafe that looked like a train car. Yeah. Uh, and then, and then <laughs> we were, we, yeah. Whenever, like, back then, me and Trevor were like eating or anything like that, we wouldn't say anything. We were too fucking awkward to talk and eat at the same time. <laughs> and then he just, he stopped. And here we are now. Yeah. <laughs> all eating pizza at each other. <laughs> He he just stop. He stops eating. Like uh, takes a sip of coffee, sets it down, and I don't know if this happened, but I, I'd always love to picture that he was just looking out the window and he said, "Huh." So I'm going to be moving to Chicago in like two days or whatever it was. It was it was six. It was months. like six months. Oh okay. It, it's it just. <laughs> It just However, like two that days. is how Trevor told everyone was yeah. that that was he threw another party, <laughs> yeah. uh, and when I everybody like showed him, he's like, party. "Now that everyone's here, I'm moving in three days. This is my goodbye party." No, no, no. Oh, so I, I when people like showed up to people. the party, they weren't aware that this was happening. No, right. so I had told a few people. The people I was really close to knew, but there was a lot of like you know friends that. You see all the time, but, like, you only see them at parties. You all, like, run and go to the same parties and whatnot. And it was just like, okay, I need to throw a going away party. So I send the <laughs> invite out, like, a month ahead of time. Like, uh, for those who don't know, I'm going to Chicago. If you want to see me again, show up to this. So that's but there were a lot of like, people who didn't know until you announced it at the beginning which, of the party. I, I can't – which <laughs> that's party their own was fault that for, one? Like, somehow managed to show up without reading the title of the party. <laughs> that was also the party that you burned off a bunch of the hair on your like arm and face. Yeah, yeah I bought my dad a grill and Oh, uh, that was that party. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> so a grill was it was supposed to be delivered the day before, but they couldn't do it. So all of a sudden they show up at like five o'clock when the party started at like noon. And <laughs> <laughs> I was hammered wearing no shirt and like a camo jacket. <laughs> and this guy comes to drop off. <laughs> 
a fucking like uh, I bought my dad like a real nice grill because like I had been living in his basement for four years. It was years. for Father's Day or something like it that. It was Father's Day and also like you know like and I love you, thank you so much for being so kind. While and I you've had been living in his basement for like twenty two years. I was twenty five. Uh, <laughs> All right. Right. He was in college for three years. <laughs> <laughs> but then I was living in his basement during those those years. <laughs> yeah. Noel kind of also. It was kind yeah. of like a sorry for Noel's presence gift. <laughs> <laughs> That's not so, the only girl that was that was given that weekend. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so we like, I, I plugged it in and I was, I, I had told everybody like, we're going to make burgers. I'm going to have a whole new grill and I'm going to try it out and like all this stuff. And the grill comes a day late in the middle of the party that everybody's expecting the food for. And right. I was like, all right, let's fucking get the, the gas hooked up. And I like, just like kept on trying to turn it on, but like the, the lighter wasn't clicking. So I just had the gas like turned on. I kept on hitting the lighter button. I was like, I don't know what's going on. And it finally lit and it was a fireball. And I was standing, (laughs) I was literally like hovering over the grill and it like charred half my eyebrow off and I like lost half an inch of hair in my... Jesus. (laughs) Luckily, Trevor didn't have a mustache at the time. I was going to say... That's not a comment on it getting burned. (laughs) We're all just lucky that Trevor didn't have a mustache at that time. I was going to say, and he was never able to grow a mustache again. (laughs) Right. That's what I blame it on, yeah. Yeah. (sighs) No, you know what? What parties I miss is the the Harbor Street parties. Oh my god, especially the theme parties. Oh, uh, the theme parties were great, but that, just, yeah. just just Noel's limit was. Oh, so I had this <laughs> limit, which it was just a porch that yeah. I always sat on. <laughs> it was like but... a it was like a dog bed or like just like a cushion <laughs> yeah. that was like out on the porch or or like like a now defunct sort of mattress. Yeah. Um, that Noel, the, would, he would show up to the party at our buddy's house and just immediately go out to the porch and sit because there and be there the, for the rest the of only, the party. Yeah, it was the only room that wasn't 105 degrees True. and 95% humidity. True. Um, yeah. yeah, so the limit was basically the amount of people I let on at a time because the porch was basically like a 15-degree <laughs> incline. You were a um, bouncer? Yeah, basically. I wasn't a bouncer you i were just a bouncer said, who wouldn't actually do anything to enforce i just the rules. told people they couldn't be on there if there were too many people that, <laughs> the limit was like five wasn't it i think it was eight oh. eight people yeah you were the guy who enforced the the maximum occupancy yeah. at a place where people were drinking beer that's a bouncer it was noel's limit i mean yes and no <laughs> When I was working at my last restaurant, we had um, uh, an ex roommate of of Brian's, Connor. Um, <laughs> so we we had this whole sort of so, this whole sort of thing where she came up to me one day and was like, "I think I know you. Did you wrestle with one of my ex roommates like on a bed of broken glass?" Like, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, yeah, probably. <laughs> and then that's that's how that started. And she got fired three weeks later, and it was great. <laughs> um, but this just I have breaking news. Um, we do have another special guest on the show. Fiona. We've got another guest. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Happy to be here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Way to uh, introduce her while she has a mouthful of pizza. Yeah, yeah. it was great timing. <laughs> so I want to go back to Noel wrestling someone on Tyler. Uh, yeah, way to just like, of kind glass. of throw that out. Oh, that was uh, that was Brian, right? <laughs> yeah, that was Brian. Um, yeah, I mean, we were just getting rowdy, and I mean, we wouldn't wrestle me and Brian. We 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 just happened to wrestle uh, that night, and <laughs> we like, I don't know, broke a glass, broke a bottle of beer, or something like that. Didn't want to cancel wrestling. I don't know why you're saying it like this, Noel. We all wrestled a lot. Like I've wrestled <laughs> oh, you several okay. times. That's a matchup I want to see. No, most, yeah. Mostly at four chase. Winner gets a point. In season two, <laughs> it's wrestling and listening to sticks were things that pe- yeah. people said we did a lot of, but I don't remember that much. <laughs> so, uh, the first time that Trevor and I lived together in college, uh, we were in an apartment together. We had four roommates, uh, the, the two of us and four other roommates, and we had two bathroom clusters. Um, <laughs> that the way they were set up was like there was an opening that led to a sink. And then to one side of that sink was a door that had just a toilet. And to the other side of that sink, it had a door that was just a shower. Hmm. 
so that you could take a shower and someone could use the toilet without being in the same room. That's pretty cool. That's actually really cool. Yeah, it worked out yeah. really well. Yeah. It was, it was great. Um, the big problem was that the light switch for the shower room <laughs> was on the outside. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. so, That's rough. You know, uh, there, there, was, there was a fair amount of shenanigans, but um, Trevor was also known for taking very long showers. Still am. Like 45 <laughs> minutes. Why? Pretty standard. What are you doing in it's there? It's so warm. <laughs> if you like, well, if also, you just roll out of bed and you jump into the shower, it's like or, you know, standing the under the covers. Have you ever paid for water? <laughs> just woke up. <laughs> well, yeah, see, we do not thing. pay for water. No, yeah, no okay, water okay. free. <laughs> but we had a friend, Sauce, who was one of Trevor's friends, who uh, did not live with us but came over all the time. And that Trevor was like 15 minutes into a shower, and Sauce turned off the lights. <laughs> and Trevor finished his shower <laughs> in the dark, but came out and was like, God damn it, who turned off the lights on me? In it, and Sauce was like, oh, it was me, ha ha ha. And so they wrestled. Well, Trevor was only wearing a towel and still wet. Oh. <laughs> Needless to say, the towel didn't it's last very long. It's just an advantage. <laughs> <laughs> how? Trevor, how is that an advantage? You know, if you're, if you're all factor. wet, there's nothing to grab onto. Why do you think, like, MMA fighters don't wear shirts? What? Yeah, but we're not talking about shirts. <laughs> I don't think that's why. But this was also at a point in time where I had known Trevor for a solid two months. Two, three months, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just like, hey, that guy's butt is on our toaster oven. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and I just feel like this is the episode now that Fiona is with us and we're not being productive to tell that, that, oh, so that. there's the a lot other, of sauce stories <laughs> my other favorite sauce story if y'all don't mind indulging me is uh, I'm moving day one I don't know Trevor I just know he's the youngest person in our apartment <laughs> under 21 and the way that our college worked was that um, if everyone in your apartment was over 21, you could have alcohol. But if a single person was under 21, no alcohol allowed. Huh, I would have could... killed Trevor in a half an hour. <laughs> 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 well, this was also at a point in time, I didn't know this, but Trevor didn't drink yet. Yeah, I didn't drink at all. I gave really? Trevor his first beer. Um, <laughs> so Tom is welcome. a terrible influence. Oh, Absolutely. <laughs> so we're we're moving our stuff in and trevor's room is right next to mine and i walk past his room at one point and there are two bottles of tequila on top of his cabinet <laughs> and i know that as soon as they give us time to move in they are going to have a fire drill quote unquote which is just an opportunity to walk around all the rooms and see all the loose alcohol right <laughs> and i looked at it and i was like hey i don't want to be an asshole guy but those are super <laughs> visible uh, and I know that we are not a wet apartment. You're going to get us into a lot of trouble. And he was like, what? And he looked, he was like, oh, those are sauces. And I was like, <laughs> what kind of fucking idiot do you think I am? That's not, a, that's not sauces. And he's like, no, they're sauces. And I was just like, it's not marinara. Those aren't sauces. <laughs> and he was like, yeah. And he was just like, no, I know a guy named Sauce. They are sauces. <laughs> he will be coming by to pick them up shortly. And I was like, there is no one named Sauce. And then Sauce came over. He's like, oh, hey, nice to meet you. I'm Sauce. I was like, what the fuck? With his great mustache and his American flag shorts and his rugby ball. What a character, huh? Yeah. yeah. Noel just kind of nailed everything about his personality. <laughs> yeah. in that. I, if I didn't know Sauce, I still wouldn't believe that he existed. <laughs> no, he's basically um, Hulk Hogan mixed with like an evil Knievel toy. You want another game name? Yeah, let's do another game. Okay, name. Uh... It's, it's the glue <laughs> holding this episode together. Yeah, we, yeah, we got it. It's, it's the game name game. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so next next game name is Downtown Abbey. <laughs> oh no what's the next one no. famous churches in cities maybe downtown no. abbey 
<laughs> what is the name of the church in the middle of Manhattan? <laughs> no idea. St. No Mark's. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. St. Generic Irish name? Yeah, the, the Trinity Church. <laughs> ah! Oh. You know that because of Spider Man. I do. <laughs> <laughs> um. Thanks so did you have any material out. for that, Trevor, or was that just a... No, I, I came up with the name and thought it was funny and wrote it down. As that far was as my I got. last um, fantasy football team was touched out in Abbey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's my multimedia minute. Uh, we watched uh, Bridgerton last week, something like that. Is it good? I heard that it's, was a horny fucking show. It's super <laughs> good. It's very Downton Abbey for the first half, and in the second half, it's a lot of explicit sex. I mean, there was a lot of sex in the first half, too. God. Like, there's there's sex within the first five minutes. Like, it's yeah. up front about what it is. But, like, <laughs> okay, that, that helps. <laughs> there's one episode that is takes place on, like, two characters' honeymoon, and it's just, like, there's a, there's a fucking montage. <laughs> like... <laughs> A fucking montage We're, of fucking? Yeah. Just like... It's just like... And they're having sex in the library. And they're having sex on the stairs. And they're having sex in the field. And they're having sex in the gazebo. And they're like... Damn. Frequently with, with, with me asking the question like... They have servants. Like, have they closed the door? Like, have <laughs> they just been like... No one come into the stairwell for some time! No, they actually have a voyeur fetish. Wait, uh... A lawyer fetish? A voyeur. <laughs> oh, okay. A voyager fetish? They like to have sex while watching Star Trek Voyager. Oh, God. God. Damn, Damn shut man. up. All right, let's move on. <laughs> yeah, Trevor, what else you got? <laughs> all right, all right. I've only got two more, so. Oh, no. Up next, Pop Uncultured. So, uh, like, sodas? Yeah. <laughs> uh, like, off-brand sodas that's like, what it are you, are you is it's mr about, pib like... and like i'm gonna name a soda and you have to tell me what the wait the mr pib brand... isn't an off-brand soda mr pib is its own thing are you talking about like old soda or old drinks like ecto cooler what <laughs> the drink from i uh... see ecto cooler the green drink that kids <laughs> oh loved. yeah uh, from Ghostbusters. Yeah, it was a it was a Ghostbusters version of High State. Why do you just have that name on like Instant Recall? Dude, I didn't make the game. You did. <laughs> what do you think he's mixing his seven dollar vodka with? <laughs> yeah. It's a high C ecto cooler. Yeah, yeah thirty five dollar high C ecto cooler. Or um, that that and strawberry kiwi fruitopia. Well, he's he's all out of a uh, Capri Sun Mountain Blast. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and wild cherry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> does does uh does the Taco Bell Cantina do a Baja Blast margarita? Yes, it does. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Man. All right. No. Um for for all of our diehard fans out there, once the quarantine gets lifted and we can do live shows, the first one we're doing is Alexandria, Virginia. Taco Bell Cantina. All right, I, I got my last game oh, name. Oh boy, what are we going to do after this? Who knows? It's on you. I brought my I brought my A game to this B list episode. Is that uh, the, the last name of your? Is that the last game name? I brought my A game <laughs> to this B list episode. <laughs> I'd like right, to write that yeah, down. Yeah, go, it's a go good ahead. Episode I've got a... title actually. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, the name is Who Wants to Be a Melbourne Air? Is this just all about oh, Australia? <laughs> Yeah, thank you, thank of... you, everyone, for listening. That's the end of our episode. <laughs> yeah. That's the end of this podcast. We won't be recording ever again. <laughs> um, yeah, those people that are Australian but aren't Australian. New Zealand? Melbourne? That's in Aust Australia. What? Yeah. Melbourne? Yep. Melbourne. Melbourne? Melbourne's in Australia. Whatever, guys. Come on. <laughs> it's only one of the biggest cities in the world. <laughs> yeah, is that true? I don't know who thinks what know. in this situation. I mean, it sounds relatively. like you're arguing, but it sounds like you agree. And it's so heated, but I think we all agree. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're full of pizza and alcohol. We're kind of yelling oh, at each other. Oh God! Uh... Now, no, no. What do you mean, those people who are in Australia but aren't? What is the aren't part of that? I, oh, um, like are people you who like... you you never thought were Australian, but they actually are, like ACDC. So I was thinking oh. you were going to be like, this game should be taking the Australian, like, citizency test. 
<laughs> oh, oh, I, that I mean too, that I guess that makes sense. That's that would make sense for the title. I feel like we would have a hard time with the U.S. citizenship test. Yeah. Also, that's a game that would be really funny, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look up the U.S. citizenship test right now. That's kind of relating to the um, was it the Wonderlick test, Trevor? That you were trying to figure out how to do. Yeah. Or it's very different, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, <okay. laughs> Noel, you turned down the Wonder Lake so that you could buy us pizza. So <laughs> did I turn it down? It was I threw it out there as an idea as a, a last place punishment, but oh, what was this? The Wonder Lake. So uh, anybody getting drafted into the NFL has to take this test. That's oh timed. the Wonder Lake. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I learned about that in, a, in my psychometrics class. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's not very reliable. Okay. <laughs> Good news, Okay, <Noel>. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> for, for the rest of our listeners, let's continue with the explanation. <laughs> oh, yeah. Basically, it's just like a 10-question test that's timed, and it has a bunch of like logic problems. And based on what answers you get right and how long it takes you to finish, you get a score. And we were going to make Noel take that test oh. and then compare them against, like, recent NFL draft picks. <laughs> yeah, that would have been a lot cheaper. <laughs> Instead of spending $100 at Dominio's. Stop calling it that. People aren't going to know what you mean. <laughs> okay, fine. Dominoes. <laughs> I want I want to do a variant of the Wonderlick test that Noel has to take, where we blindfold him and then put things in front of him that he has to lick, and try and determine what they are. <laughs> oh, that's really yeah. good, but I hate it. Also, <laughs> all right. So these these are all idea. like pretty pretty easy questions, honestly. All right, hit us with yeah. some, Connor. All right. Um, how are changes made to the U.S. Constitution? Uh, amendments are proposed and then have to pass the House and Senate? Literally all and you have the to president. say is amendments. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this is the Wonderlick? No, it's not the U.S. Oh, this is the Citizens <laughs> oh, 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 oh. How many amendments does the U.S. Constitution have? 26? 27. 27. <sighs> I just had that game. Like two weeks ago. Right. Yeah. Name two important ideas from the Declaration of Independence and the U.S. Constitution. Freedom and liberty. <laughs> no. <laughs> Freedom, liberty, beer, flag, guns. No, no. <laughs> liberty is one. <laughs> equality Freedom is the law. One? July. F- Somebody uh, say just... equality. Fireworks. Yeah, equality. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> The others, they We're list our social contract, natural rights, limited government, self-government. Uh, the words life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness are in what founding document? The Declaration. Yo. Yeah. That Will Smith movie? <laughs> no. I am legend? <laughs> <laughs> no, Suicide Squad. Yeah. Enemy, enemy of the state. Uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air, the two part episode. How many senators <laughs> does each state have? Two. Two. Yep. See, these are all these are all easy. There are four amendments to the U.S. Constitution about who can vote. Oh, you only have to describe one of them. What the fuck? <laughs> oh man! It, well, it's like women, anyone can be a citizen color, these days. People over eighteen, and. You say women already? I didn't hear the first couple. Yeah, that was the first okay. one. Or... Yeah, women, people of color, age, over eighteen, age, is... land ownership, like or non land ownership. Yeah, uh, it's um, you don't have to the poll tax. You don't have to pay it. Uh, you don't have to pay to vote. Oh, no, that was a thing. You had to pay to vote. Yeah, huh. for a minute. It there. was part of Jim Crow, I think. How originally. much? It was like a way. I mean, Whatever the fel- fuck they asked you, let just be like, oh. "Hey, you're, hey, you're black. We don't want you to vote. Give us fifty um, bucks." All right, all right. Now we're getting yeah, into history, is what I've what I'm what I'm finding here. Oh, okay, God, there are thirteen original history. states. Name five. No. Can we do this, people who grew up in New England? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, here, here's here's my okay. Here's here's my question: Which of the New England states was not one of the original colonies? 
Maine, right? Maine, Maine because Maine. it was part of Massachusetts. Yeah, Vermont. Oh, because it was his own country. Yeah, it was. It wasn't. It wasn't part of the U.S.'s land. Ethan Allen, the greatest, Maine is also yeah. a correct the answer. greatest warrior slash hotel bed maker ever. <laughs> <laughs> That's Better. weird. Ethan Allen. It's got. It's got a lot of hats. Just like. <laughs> Just like Yamaha, I, I want a piano. Dude, there's a whole, and a there's a whole list. It's like George Washington <laughs> is famous for many things. Name one. Thomas Jefferson Wouldn't is famous he? for many things. He's name one. So James old. Madison is famous for many things. Name one. Alexander yeah. Hamilton. Name one. Lincoln. The, the musical. The, yes. Oh, oh no! Speaking of um, multimedia minute, uh, uh, sort of uh, thing here. I just watched um, the HBO series Snowpiercer based on the movie Snowpiercer. <laughs> based on the comic? Snowpiercer. That's um, a movie and... I've actually seen. Yeah. That's a great movie. It's, it's, it's a really good show, too. Um, Jennifer really? Connelly is in it, who's one of like my top five uh, celebrity crushes. Um, and it's pretty accurate to the movie depending on some weird timeline variations, but the entire sort of theme of the, of the train Snowpiercer, um, the last front of humanity during this sort of super Arctic freeze that kills everyone else. Um, but, oh God, let's see if I can pull up the, the actor's name real quick, but I heard he was in Hamlet, Connor. Nope, not Hamlet, Hamilton. <laughs> the V-Dick? <laughs> yeah. um, are, are, are you saying that for sure? Or I'm asking if it's him. Okay. I'm uh, sure some of those actors have also been in Hamlet at some point in time. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, it is David Diggs. He yeah. is. He he plays the main character who is. Um, he it, if you haven't seen the movie Snowpiercer, all the um, sort of the lowest class is is in the back of the 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 train, and they're trying to just be as equal as all the other people. A lot of symbolism. Um, but he is. Uh, he was from the back of the train trying to solve this murder that happened in the front of the train just so he can get more rights. Mm. Um, and he is like outstanding. He was in Hamilton. He was uh, Thomas Jefferson and he was also um, fucking Lafayette. Um, and outside of Hamilton, he has his own, he has a rap career under the name Clipping. And I huh. strongly recommend that all of you look up Clipping because he's the best. So, yet yeah, it's only the first season is out on HBO. It's a 1 by 10 or 12 or something like that. Um, 40 minutes a piece, but they sort of ended it on a high note to, to keep the, the second season going. And especially without it going stale because, yeah. you know, it's it's a stale it's a stale sort of story if you don't sort of introduce some some weird things right which they did Have um I... so yeah i'm looking forward to it did i talk to you guys about um wonder woman yet wait which one no the new one the Thank you oh dude all right connor but before you get into it can i just pitch my my 10 word elevator pitch on wonder woman 1984 yeah it's dumb that's two words um it's Bruce Almighty, but with <laughs> an invisible airplane. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, you actually that's, you had it. Wow. <laughs> Ten words exactly. Um, <laughs> yeah, take it away. <laughs> it's trash. It's um really bad. Like, it's so fucking awful. bad. Like, oh, my God. Like, just stupid, and, like, the CGI is garbage. Yeah. And um Yeah, the story makes no fucking sense. No. Yeah, it's just it's it was it was so bad. And it's two and a half hours long. It's so it's... long. And I was like an hour and fifteen minutes into it and like nothing had happened yet. So the thing yeah, that's true. So the thing that got me sort of riled up at the absolute beginning, um the the beginning intro is basically wonder woman as a i don't know 10 year old kid yeah um sort of doing this whole gauntlet for experienced warriors and she thinks she can do it herself and for the most the most part this is not nothing spoiler e by the way um but for the most part she's winning the gauntlet she's she's beating all these people 20 years older than she is 
and like the last step, her mom, her, her mom. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Um, her mom just comes in and says, "No, stop it." And then she <laughs> says, "Why?" It was like, "Not for you." It's no, like, it was. Because, I'm about. It was because I'm about to win. It was because she she quote unquote cheated because she like didn't run the whole thing. She went down that weird. Because the island oh, has okay. uh, I, I didn't a water hear that. slide was, feature, apparently. I yeah, I, di I didn't hear that. I was washing dishes at the time. Yeah, um, she was like, stop. Really like, held actually... Noel's attention. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> what else are you going to do during this movie? Um... Here's the thing, though, is that the first Wonder Woman was an origin story. We don't need yes. another origin story in Wonder Woman 2. Oh, that's the other part of my <laughs> elevator pitch. I forgot to mention this. It's... You used all telling your words. You, you yeah, doesn't yeah, matter. Words. I, I'm 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 buying like a bunch more vowels right now. Okay, it's you all can those only things, speak in vowels. <laughs> it's all those things <laughs> I said earlier, and then one of the actors from Cats thought they were in a different set than they were, and then Cats happens for the for the end for the end <laughs> right. of the movie. The confusing looks New on Cats everybody's faces here. Oh. No, this is accurate. Connor, is this accurate? No, it is. Because. <laughs> so, well, so here's the thing. So, in the comics, in the DC comics. Uh, this is fucking bogus. This is a Wonder garbage. I hate this. One of so Wonder Woman's, much. like, most common enemies is Cheetah, which is uh, a character that they a use cheetah. in Wonder Woman 1984. And it's, like, a weird. Spl in the comics, it's a weird, like, sp regular, like, uh, like villain origin thing where like something went wrong and there's like a splice of like a human and like cheetah genes and now she's like part stupid cheetah part human movie. like that whole that whole thing but it's so most mostly human right but it's so stupid the <laughs> it's, way that it's they mostly do it. christian christian wig yeah <laughs> it's so stupid the way that they, they do it in like, wonder woman 1984 is it and like at wait, first is she it just christian has, wig like, what it is it yeah. is christian wig and at yeah. first it's just christian wig <laughs> like in like a fur coat and she's just got like these abilities but then they like they CGI it where she's like a cat person, and it looks like the same CGI they used in the Cats movie. Ergo, bad. Well, here's 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 my big question: Do we see her butthole? We don't see the butthole, and that's I mean, mostly why I'm upset. <laughs> if if I paused at the right time, I think that question could still be up in the air. I am pulling that clip of Tom out and using it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, Trevor, be are you not familiar with the butthole controversy? You, it is you going to be don't know spliced into cut? every single episode one. we they release from one. here on out. You see, yeah. the, the question you're asking is the wrong question. I'm sure we're all aware of that. It's our many fans in Norway who I'm sure are not aware of that. <laughs> Excuse What's me? happening? Cats was an international sensation. <laughs> Dame Judi Dench was Prior in it. to the movie being. Right? Yeah, I was going to say. But yeah, um... Fucking Wonder Woman eighty four. Yeah, it was God bad. I don't. I, I actually didn't finish it. I didn't either. I stopped at the cat scene. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Um, and fucking what's his name? Isn't it? Yeah, um, I was gonna say Pedro Pascal, one of my favorite actors. He was a great right actor, now. and he was garbage. He was, but he honestly, I don't think he was really. I didn't think he cared. <laughs> what he was given wasn't a lot. No, either. He had nothing to work yeah, with. It, it wasn't his fault. Yeah. He was he was being the Mando and and I mean honestly he still is Mandalorian so yeah you guys I'm finishing the last slice of this pizza right now I got two left I, I had haven't... I had two pieces of pizza so so okay. yeah. yeah I was gonna say I feel bad for Fiona like had to just like sit there watch you eat a pizza and not get any well yeah. if, I can't if... eat gluten so oh <laughs> Ooh. wait I'm currently right. two pieces of pizza in and drinking a beer. <laughs> right. Okay. I was about to say that's. I'm pretty sure Magic Hat number nine is not gluten free. <laughs> Holy shit! What a what a pull! I haven't heard that beer name in forever. Right. I saw it there the other day. Yeah. It was one of my favorites when I first started drinking beer. And... I think it was like everybody's, like one of everybody's. It's I mean, so, like, so mediocre. It was. It was yeah, definitely the beer. I, like, it. I like craft beer. I drink Magic Hat number nine. But I think <laughs> at the time for us that was pretty much it. Besides, yeah. like. You know, the 40-year-olds who were living right next to, you know, the alchemist or whatever. I don't know what that sentence means. Yeah, I don't either. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, I mean... Their neighbor back... was making gold. 
Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Clearly. At, at least back when I was... Transmuting. <laughs> when I started drinking, the only craft beer was like number nine or Sierra Nevada was still considered craft beer. Sierra yeah. Nevada is craft like beer. Like Sam Adams. Um, I have, yeah. To me, a craft beer, that was another one that I really enjoyed. Uh, another game that I really enjoyed making was my uh, craft beer name Your craft beer one. one. That was a lot of fun good. for me. That that was a good game. It was a good game. game. It was it, also your 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 hot dog one. I really liked as well because I thought I knew a was, lot more than I did, and, and I didn't. I like that format. <laughs> I really like that format. Yeah. I've done it for like yeah. three my mom different actually games, told but. me she really likes that format too. She yeah. really liked the hot dog one and the drink one. Yeah, I like the drink one a lot. That was Ooh, fun. yeah, the drink yeah. one was also mm-hmm. pretty good. You you had a food theme going on at the beginning I that I feel like kind of just disappeared. Uh, which is fine, but like I liked all of the games. I didn't want to be the food that, like, guy. Food but... <laughs> Everyone loves food, though. I know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll definitely are... do more in season two because there's yeah. so many different things that you can do. I feel like that style is really easy to play along with when you're listening. Right. I think that's why I yeah. like yeah. the best. You didn't need. What, what oh. was it? Lipstick and something to write on? Like, <laughs> yeah. you just do it in your Lipstick head. Lipstick <laughs> and an ex girlfriend sitting next to you. Yeah. <laughs> no, it, it was Ouija board and your dead grandmother. Yeah, you don't need those. You can just do it while you're on your walk. <laughs> um, well, now, now that we have a couple uh, fans on the show with us, can I ask you what your least favorite either game or style of game was? Yeah. There were definitely some of the direct sale disasters where I had no idea what you were talking about because it was like you had shared a picture with each other and since it was all audio it was like really hard to know what was going on right <laughs> that, yeah. that's i feel like yeah. that's a fixed mistake though if i'm we definitely not wrong we got, became more aware of it but it. like it wasn't yeah. until yeah. like halfway through the season that we were like oh we need to like <laughs> really describe this stuff yeah oh no yeah, i yeah. wasn't even going about that but we're we're not doing direct sales disaster anymore. No. Right? Okay. So oh, we've not. got to find an alternative. But yeah. oh, I didn't know that you'd. That was like the one thing that. on the docket for this episode was figuring oh, yeah. that out. <laughs> oh. Well, we had talked about so doing shall the. Shall we? Yeah. We had talked about doing the um the stump me or whatever. Yeah, I was curious how that would work. Like. So the way that the way that I envision it is like okay, so let's say that I'm week one, and. Uh, while we're recording the episode prior, I say, hey, so I thought about it, and my can you stump me is uh, finishing Simpsons quotes, like, from seasons 1 through 15. Mm-hmm. And then the rest of you have a week to, like, find some weird, obscure quote to say, like, you know, uh, Lisa drinks the water from an amusement park ride at one point and yells out what and then i have to be like uh fuck i don't know or i'd be like i am the lizard queen i really and, I, is that the you quote know what? i yes it's got i be. really Jesus like that. <laughs> i like i so, like it it's just that if we're doing what is it 20 episodes yeah, yeah. so that's well, I mean, I that's, guess no. That's that's five things. Each. That's five, five things. A piece. Each. Just yeah. just say five things you're good at, or however many. Because I'm not so, good at five things. My only thing with that is like, if we're trying to stump each other, like, it's gonna get so absurdly right. Like, I think if you stick to if we stick to like quotes or like, we could even do like uh like song lyrics. Like, one of mine might be like my favorite band is Spoon. Um, can you stump me on song lyrics? Like, which song has this lyric or, like, finish the lyric to this thing or something like that? Yeah, but we're all going to talk about the underdog. <laughs> 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 but again, that's what you have or that the, week or for. The, or, or the other song, yeah. Or the other song? So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's another one that I know. Yeah, I think they wrote two. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you all. So... <laughs> So I had a thought that um, the season is broken up into quarters, essentially. Five episodes. If we did, like, if we picked a game, like, now, that for the first five episodes would be the regular game for five episodes, and then at the end of that fifth one, we can pick what the next five... We'll just play, like, the same game, something that went well. Well, I'm down for anything for, like, a little bit, just see what it actually, like, turns out to be, because I know before we did the direct sales disaster, we had... 
something something else. Wasn't it the uh, fucking yeah, like the, joke or whatever? Yeah, the quick, oh quick my snippet. god. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But yeah. we could, the could say, like, games we really liked from season one or the preseason, like, yeah. where we'll just play, like, it could Defend be... Yourself, Sir, every episode for five episodes. Yeah. Or... Return of the game. And... Yeah. yeah. Okay. And it can be, like, any yeah. of them. I'm really down for that. Yeah. The callback. Sounds good. Yeah. Should we wrap yeah. this up anytime soon? Because I am... I've run out of material like forty five minutes ago. <laughs> do yeah, let's do let's do some fake ads. Yeah, we should do some fake ads. Today's episode. Today's episode. Oh. Go ahead. <laughs> Go no. ahead, oh, Connor, Jesus. your birthday boy. Uh, today's episode of the Never Games is brought to you by the inevitable march of time. <laughs> oh, God. Continues slogging oh, no. on. It takes you for a ride, whether you want to be on it or not. Thanks, Connor's mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Letting us know how much of a disappointment we are. Yay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Today's episode of Never Games is also brought to you by Domino's. You want some pizza fast? Simply call Noel and tell him you want some Domino's. <laughs> He'll make sure it's delivered to your house right Dominion quick. Dominion's or whatever the fuck you were calling yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Dominion's. Go, go to hello at the nevergames.com forward slash Noel <laughs> with the subject line I'd like some dominoes please just make sure you give him the two toppings that you want as well as your address and phone number honestly <laughs> if you do a Patreon anything more than like 50 bucks I'll get you some free pizza <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it's free pizza if you're paying 50 right. bucks if you pay us 50 bucks we'll give you pizza yeah that, that's, that's part of the Patreon reward I don't even know what the $50 reward is uh it's 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 a lot better now that might I'll be the uh the jar of air <laughs> <laughs> so Noel will also get himself a pizza and eat that pizza with, with the open jar so you'll get yeah. his pizza no. stank in it <laughs> you get no, one you know, topping you, inside if, the jar if, if i give you a jar of air you know that I'm going to be hiking There's going to be something Washington solid in just it. to get that. <laughs> God damn it, Trevor. You... <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was probably my favorite, all-time favorite direct sale disaster was the air. The, the air? air? <laughs> it was really good. See, that's the problem with all of our DSDs was we had all of them great. Like, the first three episodes, including, like, the preseason. And then yeah. I couldn't find any any more twenty five Italian dead bees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you almost quit the show because I did jars of air. You were so yeah, no, that was pissed. rough. And and the rest of you guys so qu- almost quit the show because of a a gold paperclip. Oh yeah, that's right. That's <laughs> yeah. The fucking god. Tiffany the Legos. Oh god. <laughs> twenty five hundred dollars for ten Legos. Oh, all right. Uh, the rest today's of the episode. Sh- oh, okay. Today's episode is also brought to you by B List Hollywood Squares, the the greatest game show full of people you think you know from that that one show, uh, like Martin Mole. Yeah, <laughs> tune in. <laughs> find Center Square Joe Latrugio and John Cunyones. <laughs> I don't know who either of those people are. <laughs> okay. I do know Joe Latrugio, but I, that he's an A list now. He's amazing. He's yeah. great. Deserves a list. He uh, he really sells wet hot American summer for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact: Ken Marino also in B list Hollywood Squares. <laughs> That's another. I I'm not sure. I, I know don't Ken know what Marino. Your grade right? of of B list is because I don't know what B list is either. Like, like Gilbert Gottfried. Yeah. He's b The voice of my parrot in a D&D game? <laughs> emo Nobody Phillips. else gets it. I think Emo, <laughs> e- emo Your emo parrot Phillips. is just Iago? Yeah. Essentially. Yeah. His name is Gandalf, but he, <laughs> his voice is like Gilbert God. You shall not pass! <laughs> <laughs> Gilbert. CP30's not that bad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm going to remake Lord of the Rings with Gilbert Godfrey playing every role now. 
<laughs> Stupid fat hobbitses. <laughs> Never Games is also brought to you by Gilbert Godfrey the Grey. (laughs) 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 He's he's the ultimate defeater of the Balrog. You know, potatoes. You boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Right, the to, worst Gilbert have... Gottfried impression ever. <laughs> <laughs> Can we please end the show now? <laughs> well, thank you all so much for uh, for listening uh... in. Uh, you can find the Never Games anywhere that you find your uh, your usual podcasts on Spotify. We also have an Instagram. We have a Facebook. You can find us on the Apple Podcast, all that good stuff. Please give us a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed what you heard. Um, probably not if you listen to this episode, but listen to the other ones. They're really good. Uh, we appreciate all the love. But not the four prior ones either. You got to really get into the meat and bones of uh, of the season to really, really get yeah. it. Tune in next week. Yeah. Season two, one episode too. one. We're getting real about it. It's a competition again. We're, we're and also find us on up. Patreon. We have a Patreon. Patreon.com slash the Never Games. We have a whole bunch of tiers. As we just said, you can buy a bottle of Knoll's Thick Air. <laughs> <laughs> No one's no one's gonna do that now. No thick air. Somehow I'm gonna make that into a game. <laughs> <laughs> but you can also run a game of DSD. You could no. no. Well, you know you can. A... Oh, that's right. Sorry, I'm just reading off the list. Um, <laughs> I mean, I you think know that what? No. Still, if you want to run a game of DSD, we will let you do that. Yeah. If you subscribe to our Patreon. It's patreon.com slash the never games. We do have an email as well. It is hello at the never games.com. We would love to hear from you, whether it's a, just a, a good old sort of social hello, or if you have a game idea or an entire game that you would like for us to play, we would love to hear from you. Also, any questions, comments, recipes to share, or pretty much what, what, email is good for <laughs> otherwise not sure what else you can do with email but surprise us N- Noel just that. got drunk in the middle of that last sentence <laughs> 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 or anything what <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <no. laughs> once again hello at thenevergames.com and we do have a website it's the end of that email dra- address it's thenevergames.com you can go on there and find all of our episodes, engage with other fans by commenting on those episodes, check out our multimedia minutes, read our scoreboards and stats, soon to be up- updated with second place, just for Noel. Uh, <laughs> or see our About Us uh, to read our dating profiles. You can... <laughs> You can also get all of the music from today's episode and every other episode, uh, which was produced by Good Damn It, with Noel on the drums and Trevor on the everything else. Oh, wonderful. And I do have to say an extra special thanks to Fiona and Allison, who have just decided to pop by and was just so gracious with their presence on today's episode. Thank you very much for stopping by. Also special guests, my mother and my grandmother. Yes! That's right. That's Holy right. shit! There you go. Oh man, that was... first episode that we've had four special guests. <laughs> yeah, we hope you loved uh, this vacation episode and all of our four subsequent vacation episodes. But hey, we'll be back with a fresh new season next week. Uh, my name has been and will always be Noel McInnes. I am Trevor Kelly, at least for now. My name is Tom O'Brien, as far as you know. I am Connor Provost. Good night, sweethearts. And this has been the Never Games Do We Play Games. Almost. Almost. Happy birthday, Connor. Happy birthday, Connor. This has been a Stickerbox Studios production. There we go.
Grow up. No. <laughs> wow, rude. <laughs>